Welcome to Small Lathe. Well, we have our mission cut out for us. We're going to make a tool that was never made in the entire lifespan of the Unimat. The manufacturer itself has never made anything like that. We're going to make a compound rest so we can turn tapers on the Unimat. The Unimat does not have a compound rest and in order to turn tapers you need to swivel the entire Unimat head represented here by the chuck but this misaligns the lathe so from that time onwards you'll have to readjust it and zero it in not fun we've got our bed cut out here the moving parts meaning the new carriage the head the handle the handle and last but not least this I'll set this as zero and we'll move that's a point two 0 0.02 millimeter deviation. That's nice. Sorry, we got 0 0.02 millimeters deviation that's wonderful check that Well, it's the next week, guys, because I do this only on Fridays. The rest of the week is devoted to candies, um, when God slash wife slash kids allow. So, <laughs> and they don't allow that often. <laughs> so we're going to keep milling this till we get to the line, basically speaking. I'm not going to show you the whole process, it's going to be very very laborious and very, very slow because I'm forced to take 0.1 millimeter passes. So there we go. Okay, here we go. And do remember we got two of these to make, one on this side, one on the other. <laughs> I think we're done with the roughing cutter that is we are at 3.3 it's verify that we need to get to a thickness of 3.0 yep we're at 3.0 Oh, actually we got closer than expected. 3.21. Okay, that's uh that's fine. Just means I'll have less work to cut out for me basically using the smooth cutter. Uh, this is a low cost high speed steel cutter. If you have a Unimat, I really highly recommend this thing eats metal like nothing else. Another high speed steel, 6 millimeter cutter, smooth.
Right, so it took us quite some time, about two weeks, to mill a small groove, 7 by 3 by 6 centimeters or 7 by 3 by 60 millimeters. First step before we start. Retighten it. It's got to be locked tightly. Two point nine eight millimeters. I'd call that perfect, considering the limitations of the Unimat as a lathe. I would not complain at all. So. One last thing we do need to check is our depth of cut. Okay. Check my caliper. I don't have a depth micrometer. I'd love to have one, but I don't. And we're going to check it like so. 3.6. Ouch. That should have been 3.3, .3, not 3.6. Open this up. That was really tight. And th there we go. You got away. <laughs> I can tell by eye one of them is deeper. So there we have it. We have a bit of a crooked ways for the lathe. Definitely a non fun fraud project when you got a, a rigidity issue, but that being said, well, we did it. break those sharp corners so this is our part doesn't look too nice but um, let's connect it with this part it's gonna go like that well that's part of the solution got the ways done more or less evenly I should say and it's a 0.03 millimeter more or less now I could have sunk these in countersunk the hole and just dropped them in but I opted to see these as I said it's quite you <laughs> sort of uh, I think we'll call it the minion <laughs> compound rest all right, now you don't have my drawing at hand, so you don't see there's one really big <laughs> mistake here. This hole should have been on the other side. It's not crucial, we'll just make the pivoting center on the right side, not on the left. doesn't really matter. It just annoyed me when I caught up with it, <laughs> because I was sure I was getting it on the right side. Okay. That being said, it's really a stiff connection, really tight, really nice. I'm pretty pleased. We're just necking it here, so I don't think I can step up there. We'll just put a shim over here. And this is the deeper cut and the first cut. So yeah, it's a shim not another set of going through all this thing but all in all I'd say that's pretty cute it worked really really nicely I'm pleased with that okay 
Well, we got a little bit more way to go. And we need to do the compound rest top side. The bottom side is already done. We have the compound rest ways, like this one. And we have the back side, or minion compound rest for that matter. <laughs> so I think it's going to be really, really cute. I think it's going to be workable, usable, and very useful. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be seeing you shortly, and have a sweet day. And lock the quill. I'm lowering it as far as I can go. Didn't lock the quill. There we go. Quill locked. Okay. Let me turn on the lathe. Ridiculously speaking, it's a matter of putting a weight on the lever, on the pedal lever, because now it's not on the floor anymore. I don't have enough height. Okay. <laughs>